Did Bushiri inspire the Church of Mudise, also known as AKA IPHC, also known as the International Pentecostal Holiness Church, nothing holiness, nothing church, <laughs> to build their own city? You'll remember that uh, our major, major favorite false prophet, self proclaimed prophet. Shepard Bushiri is building his own city by the name of Kosher. Now, uh, today there is an article on the Daily Sun of the things over there. They are saying that Mudisa's church builds its own mega city. Now, this part of the video is actually a sponsored video. And the sponsor of this video, this particular number right here, for any car repair windows and also for all your car key programming or duplication of your car keys you can actually contact this number to get a quotation if you want to do that if you only have one master key uh, you can actually get a duplicated key keep the master key at home so that you were whenever you have any issues you can still get another key after that it's better using a duplicated key so that you will always have your master key back at home either your window repairs uh, your model and also how much it would cost to to have labor labor out for you and also for the car duplication and also programming of your keys now thank you very much to the sponsor of this video and uh, hey they are now on board sponsoring the channel and so do holler at them uh they're also helping they'll be helping in paying out for the bills of the studio hey man thems must keep working let's get to this video the city they say it's called kanana which which i think it's canaan over there and uh as you stroll down in the article it says the uh, international uh, the international pentecostal church also known as iphc is building its own city this particular de uh, development is within the area of uh Hildebeck, Hild Hildebeck, i think and niger houten has been named kanana city and the project is worth 2.5 billies be what <laughs> 2.5 billies comes after the church recently celebrated its 60th uh, anniversary and is founded by um, the comforter according to what the church calls him it's not what i call him that's what the church calls him please don't get that twisted to me uh, the, the, the the title comforter it's not his name for those that don't know uh, comforter is a title uh, which uh, they believe he is the comforter that is represented by what Jesus was saying was coming. Now, we have established and we can establish by many different verses in the gospel according to John that uh, the comforter, according to what Jesus is saying, when he says, I will bring the comforter, he was talking about the Holy Spirit. Spirit, the word spirit there should tell you it's not a human being. But the church here believes that uh, uh, it's, it's their leader. Honforta Fredericks Mudise uh, in the 1962. That's what they say over there. They're building its own, uh, they're building its own dream thing. Now, did they get inspired by Provov or by Major Provov? No, they say no. Uh, this has been something that has been a dream, according to this particular. They say it will co it will contain a dome for the church. It will contain a hospital of some sort or a health center in English. <laughs> in english and a commercial uh, a commercial hub i guess the the businesses uh within iphc will build their headquarters over there and whatnot if you didn't know iphc people are very very rich people <laughs> there is a lot of rich people over there and the a hospitality area meaning hotel and um shopping complex factories for this is the part that caught my attention they say factories for church uniforms and hotels among other things i found that very fascinating <laughs> the church could not they are building factories but to 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 make uniforms <laughs> i will come back to that particular point there they are saying uh, they have people who are very much qualified for this type of task uh, meaning city planning and all that kind of jazz and since they are now approaching that particular space where they can now afford to do so they are now about to do uh, something of such a nature they also speak about another development planning uh, within the area of western cape now the part that kind of caught my attention is that part there 
as I stated, what some of the things that are going to be within the church there. They said the church is going to have its own factories for church uniforms <laughs> and hotels. Please, let's focus on the part of church uniforms over there. Now, this is not inspired by Bashir. Yes, they might have had this for a very long time, but we know that over the years, a lot of churches have had something of a similar nature. Jim Jones had his own town. Once he was kicked out of certain areas, he moved into Guyana because things were getting hectic. The, the group uh, had a lot of concerns and a lot of investigation and the federal bureau, they were following up with this group and investigating the group. Uh, people were saying people were held up there. And so a compound is not a new thing. Okay? Yeah, there's been other false Christs who have done up something about the similar of a similar. The only difference in this case is that these ones are not claiming to be another Christ. They are claiming to be the Holy Spirit. Mm. Other people can claim to be Jesus or the second coming. No, they something else different. They are the Holy Spirit. <laughs> the leaders are the Holy Spirit, I guess. Now, another fascinating point about the, the factory part there is that the interest still comes back. The interest still comes back into building empires. Remember, uh, this church particularly is still in war over a an account worth over a billion it has been said that account has been held and they are still going to court to and fro fighting to have control of those funds and so it's very interesting to see that they supposedly have something here you see someone can see this if you're a political person this is where we should address you you see you see this and you are convinced progress you see building a two billion project and whatnot, and you are convic convinced progress. We don't use that as a way of structure or seeing progress. We use doctrine as a way of seeing progress. But unfortunately, people who look at political points, uh, people are going to have jobs, people are going to have this, they don't see the major issue, doctrine. As I've been highlighting in the video, you know, I've not just been talking about this. I've been highlighting the issues in the matter, you know, there'll be those ones who they only see the negative, but they don't see what we are highlighting, which is not. <laughs> Please also have your sight on what is true as well. The issue that people who are political don't see when they see these type of things, they see affirmed, they, are, they see their ideas affirmed. But they don't understand the one thing that they have sacrificed in agreeing with that is the truth. The Bible tells you who the comforter is. The Bible tells you who the true church is centered around. But here you have a church, all they know is playing lip guitar. Ah, lip guitar. Once they play lip guitar for you, Manesu. <laughs> Manesu, you are not coming back because you like things. You, you are a lip guitar person. Nice suits, white, they dressed, you feel very much holy. Saparo, you know those clothes that they wear, they don't mix them with other clothes. You've been given, you've been sold an idea, you've been sold an empty bottle. You've been sold material value. You've been sold two billion. Okay? You've been sold jobs. You've been sold we are building a city. You've been sold that. Here, whether it be Jim Jones thingy, Bushiri, whether it be this Medisa city, whatever, it's all the same. You are sold the idea of progress, but the core thing you don't have. He says, what shall it, what shall it benefit a man if he should gain the entire world, if he should build a bigger city? You know, you know, it, it reminds me of a certain verse in the Bible when it says, uh, I think it's in Hebrews, where it, where it says that they sought a city whose builder was God. Let those that know the Bible tell you down in the comment section what verse I'm talking about. He sought. You are seeking a city that whose builder is man. Jesus, when he left, he said, I go to build. So that where I am, you may be also. So he goes to build a place for us. So that where he is, we may be also. Our comfort is not in this earth. Our 
we reside in the heavens. The Bible even says we are seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. My comfort is not down here. Not that you shouldn't build, no. But that if that becomes your area of comfort, you, you are affirmed, your ideas are affirmed because they are building a seat. You are confirmed. Mm, this is what I want to belong to. You've been sold an empty bottle. You've been sold flesh and you don't understand what the book of Hebrews is trying to relate when it says they sought one, who they sought a city whose builder is God. While you are seeking a city, that will give you a job, feed you today, tomorrow, you haven't sought one that was built of God. So doctrine is lacking. So guess what? Everything else is down the hatch. This is crumbling. This entire thing that you see, it's crumbling. It's all falling apart. There is coming. There is coming as king who will question your belief and your ground of belief. What you believed and what you held to high value. And you will only find it was of no value at all. But it's the actuality show. We can only caution. Let man believe what he believe, what he thinks is right. While you are out there seeking factories that will give you jobs, while you are out there seeking to be in a church which affirms your political ideas of people getting jobs and feathering, what not, you've been sold an empty bottle. Don't worry, you might as well come buy this one. At least this one has water. <laughs> I seek a city whose builder is God.